forecast. We're going to go ahead and toss it over to weather with meteorologist Carson Vickroy. Carson, I know there's so much going mm -hmm. on in the tropics. Yeah, there really is, Corinne. I am concerned about a tropical system. It would be Ida that would form later today, but again, lots of factors going into the, what's going on in the tropics right now. We've got a storm in the Caribbean. It was just named Tropical Depression 9, meaning it's the ninth storm of the year, and it will strengthen. But the path, yes, we've got a forecast track on it, but it can and will change. I'll explain more on that in just a second. Uh, conditions in the Gulf, unfortunately, are very favorable for the storm to continue its strengthening. And of course, I do expect it to strengthen into Tropical Storm Ida a little later on today. That would be the I name, the ninth name stormed of the year. But here it is. The center of circulation is to the southwest of Jamaica. Very lopsided. You notice some clouds moving off to the north, some clouds moving off to the west. That's an indication of wind shear. And as a result, Result on the west side of the storm, we don't have a lot of convection or thunderstorm activity ongoing. Well, let's talk about the current stats. It's a weak storm, tropical depression. If it strengthens five more miles per hour, it would be tropical storm Ida. Winds are at 35 miles per hour, and it, it continues on its northwesterly trajectory at about 13 miles. Before I show you the forecast track, here's what it's going to contend with. Not all that much. This is more of a teammate to the storm rather than a hindrance to the storm because we do have some very warm water. And unfortunately, this is just going to be like gas for the storm to really get itself intensified before it ultimately makes landfall along the Louisiana or Mississippi coastline. Now, here's the projected path of the storm. This is very important to us here in East Texas because depending on where it goes could have a significant impact on on our weather forecast next week. Don't be concerned about it before Friday, which is tomorrow, because it will be a stronger tropical storm just entering the Gulf at that point. But with very little land interaction, warm water and limited wind shear, it will strengthen into potentially a category two hurricane prior to making landfall either late Sunday night or early Monday morning. Now, very important to note the cone here. Now, anywhere in this cone, the center of the storm is likely to go a little further off to the west, we see more rain in East Texas early next week. Off to the east, we may hardly see anything with the exception of humidity from this storm. So stay tuned for the latest updates. Now for us today, we've got an area of high pressure.